hello again. This is a problem that I have asked several times in several assignments and the students always go crazy with this problem. I still don't understand why that is happening because it's a very simple problem where the moment is going to be R cross F and the force is even given in Cartesian already so we don't have to convert anything and the only thing that we need is basically uh, finding the the distance. That's what we have to find here. Magnitude of the moment of the force and about the tripod line AB. So there are two ways that we can do this problem in reality. We can find uh, what the problem is telling you here is to do a triple scalar product. Triple scalar product. Triple scalar product. However, you can do this also in the traditional way. But let's do it using the triple scalar product first. How do you do this problem with the triple scalar product? First, you need the unit vector of the line AB. Unit vector of the line AB. And then you need a distance from any point into that line to the force. So from A to D, from B to D, or something like that. Okay? We need that. And you can use AD, for example. Or you can use also BD. And it should be the same. And then you need the force. And then you put this in a determinant and you solve it and get the value that you need to get. That's simple. That's the triple scalar product. Another way of doing it is by parts. So we can calculate the moment of the force with respect to any point, any point of that line, either the point A or the point B, which are the easiest one. So we can calculate the moment of the force with respect to the point A, or the moment of the force with respect to the point B. And then we dot multiply that by the unit vector of the line AB. This is done at once, and this is just in steps, but it's the same thing. Bottom line, we need the unit vector AB. First of all, we need it here, we need it here. It's the same. So how do we get the unit vector AB? You can get the coordinates of B, subtract the coordinates of A, or you can run the vector as I show you several times. For running the vector, basically you start from A towards B, and you go parallel or perpendicular to the axis. So if I need the unit vector AB, that would be the position vector AB divided by the magnitude position vector AB divided by the magnitude of the position vector AB. Position vector AB, if I have to go from A to B, I can subtract these coordinates minus those coordinates, but I also can do this. Look, in order for me to go from A to B, I have to go to the right, this amount, 0 0.5 in J. and to the front on this amount, which is 3.5 pi. And that's it, nothing else. So we have the unit vector AB, divided by the magnitude of AB. That will be the unit vector, which is 3.5 squared, oops, 3.5 squared plus 0.5 squared, elevated to the 0.5, that's the denominator, 3.5 divided by that number, 0 0.9899 i, 
and 0 0.1414 J. Now we know this, so we know this, which is the same. Now what else do I need? The arm from the point to A to D, from here to here, so we can do that. And that arm from A to D, you can work with coordinates, or you can just follow the axis. For example, if I have to go from A to D, from here to here, following the axis, First thing I have to do is this. So AD will be this distance, 2.5 in the x direction. And I just up 4. And that will be AD, nothing else. And now I have everything that I need. I just create my triple scalar product. And the triple scalar product will be first the unit vector of the line 0 0.9899, 0 0.1414, 0. Then I put the arm 2.504, and then I put here the force 50, negative 20, negative. You see, it's the same determinant, but instead of putting i, j, k, I just put the unit vector of the line. When you solve this, then you're going to get the magnitude of the moment of the force F with respect to the line A, B. It's going to be 136 newton meter. Notice that this is a number. It's a scalar. It's not a vector anymore because we are calculating how much of the moment acts on the direction. The other thing that we could have done here is just find first the moment of the force F with respect to any point in the line AB, for example, the point A. We could have done that. How do you do that? By doing the determinant I, J, K. And then you put here what? The R first, what is that R? AD, we have AD, 2.504, and then you put the force here, 50, negative 20, negative 80, and then you get this moment. And then, once you get this moment, we can do it, I mean, uh, I have time, but you guys are always, you know, hurrying, 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 hurrying. Shorter video, shorter video, shorter video. Okay, well, let's do it. I don't care. So if I find, I can find this moment first by steps, by stages, vector. Let's edit the first vector again. And the magnitude, the first value is 2.5. The second is 0. The third is 4. Good. Now let's do the other vector. Vector 2 is the force. Edit the second one, three dimensions, yes, 50, negative 20, negative 80, done, good. And then I do the cross product, vector math. We do the cross product of these two vectors first, which is the first vector. Uh, da, 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 what I was doing, vector. 1, comma, vector 2, parentheses, and then you get this value. This value will be 80i plus 400j minus 50k. Oh, pay attention. This is not the moment that the problem is asking. This is the moment of the force F with respect to the point A. But it happens that the point A is in the line of action of the force. So then if I dot multiply this now with the unit vector of the axis, the axis, which is this one, I should get the same value over there, exactly the same thing. So let's do this by part, or let's solve this thing here. This value, 80 times I dot i right that's what we're doing 
0.9899 plus j dot j 400 times 0.1414 and then plus k times 0 which is that value and we get once again what we got here 136 or 135.72 which is the same for this bar newton meter so you have two ways of doing this Either you do it at once using the triple scalar product, and the way you solve this is by doing the determinant. You say this value that multiplies this times this minus this times that minus this value that multiplies this times this minus that times that plus this value zero, everything else is zero, and then you get that value. Or you find the moment of the force with respect to any point in the line of action. It could be A, it could be B, it doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, you do it. Now, instead of doing AD, use BD. And I can guarantee you that you're going to get the same result. Once you get the moment, you don't multiply that. Don't multiply that with the line, the unit vector of the line AB, and then you get the same value. There you go, guys. Simple, simple, simple problem. Students always or almost always get it wrong. Don't be that student. Thank you for learning, guys. See you later.